Hey everybody, thanks for stopping in to MobyTrails.com. I just got a new toy. Battery Daddy. This is on, um, it was on a commercial the other day on TV. I think it's Battery Daddy, da Battery Daddy .com maybe. Uh, as seen on TV kind of thing. I found it on Amazon. It was like 30 plus bucks. Um, my wife found it at Bed Bath & Beyond. And it was 20 something, I think. So, anyway, I'm going to throw all my batteries in here, check this thing out, see if it's as good as I'm hoping it is. So, um, as with any anybody, I'm sure, that's done any kind of van living, van customization, camper, trailer, fix them up type stuff, you get all done doing the stuff you want, and then you're like, oh, if I could do this again, I would this, or I wouldn't that, or whatever. I don't think there's a whole lot of stuff I'm, I, I would like, there's some stuff I would do differently, don't get me wrong, but um, one of the things I don't really like about this couch setup is having to move the cushions to get into the chest. I mean, it is what it is, so we're going to do it. And I don't know how I would do it different if I did it again, but anyway, so I'm going to dig through this milk crate and there should be a bunch of batteries in here this is just the tool chest best way I can think of so far quick and dirty to um, for storage and I didn't build any crazy crazy uh, cabinets and I didn't finish the walls with siding and all that. This whole exercise was to do it as inexpensively as possible, fairly quickly, and just functional. So quick and dirty. Quick and dirty. I think that's it for the batteries. I just got some new screws, blah, blah, blah. Check out our battery daddy here. So again, I'm not affiliated with Amazon or Bed Bath & Beyond or anything like that. Um, I might, actually. I'm thinking about it. Getting an affiliation link because I'm constantly testing different kinds of gear and I'm kind of a storage, I'm not a nerd because I don't have all that really cool stuff, but I do I do tend to try to be as practical as possible, place for everything, everything in place, and just, you know, you've got all this little gear that you've got compartmentalized, you know, kitchen stuff under the kitchen counter, you know, trunk stuff in the back, et cetera, et cetera, whatever works best for you. I'm not trying to tell you how to do it, but just trying to show you some of the things true life hacks or whatever that I've found that help me out. So anyway, let's take a look at this one. Alright. Get our handy dandy Leatherman out here. And eventually, what I'm really looking at are rechargeable batteries, all the different sizes rechargeable. So you need, obviously, plugs into a wall, you need the right size charger for triple A's, another charger for double A's, another charger for C's and D's, etc, etc. So that would actually be a fairly, um, you know, that'd be a fairly good compilation. It costs a little bit of money to get chargers and two sets of batteries of every size battery but then you would always have one to show one to go you know you would always have a pack in the 
in whatever your item is, your flashlight or smoke detector or etc. etc. And you don't always have a pack in the charging unit then. I've got a little ACDC or an inverter for the cigarette lighter that I can run enough electricity off from to um, charge, you know, your small component type stuff, laptops, computers, iPhones, etc. But I'd really like to get chargeable batteries. This comes with a little charger with it. Plug your, plug your little battery in. Prindle goes to good if it's a good battery. If you've got, which I do in the chest, if you've got a voltmeter, you can check your batteries with that too. Generally, they're about 1.5, I think. Anyway, so then one side holds your different size. It's got your triple A's, your C's, and your D's, and your nines. This is for your little button batteries for your watches or compasses or whatever. Um, and then the other side are slots for all your double A's. And then you've got um, all your batteries in one place. They're in a case that keeps them safe. Triple A's go up here in the handle as well on both sides. So you've got all these spots for triple A's. And these spots for triple A's. Which I personally think is almost a little overkill on triple A. But that's mostly just because I don't have that much stuff that runs on triple A's. And I got a couple couple more things uh, just for the um, just for the van. I finally got one of the heater buddies. I'll I'll shoot a video on that later and show what that's like, what that's all about. There you have it. So there we have it. Um, oh, that's right. It it only takes eight of the D's. So yeah, this tells you what you get. You get um, do -do, 22 double A's, and then the other side's 54 double A's. So you get like 70 some double A's. You get 70 some triple A's. So that's these, and then a couple in the handle. 10 C's. 8 D's, 8 9 volts, I thought I had more 9 volts, I thought I had another pack of 9 volts, and then you get your button cells like I pointed out here, you put your buttons in here, and like some of my watches and stuff like that have buttons, some of your little flashlights have them too, I can't remember what I think this is from Harbor Freight, I can't remember if this has uh, button batteries or um, triple A's. I know these have double A's. So three double A's per light. I've got four lights. So anyway, let me go see if I can find my other nine volts. From there, so there's your battery pack. One small case, got all your batteries in it. You don't have to be digging through all your packages. You don't have to be digging through your storage to get to your packages. I like it. Pretty cool. So thanks for stopping into MobyTrails.com. Go check out this battery buddy if you um, think you can use it. And I'll talk to you all soon. See ya.